For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. His invitation by God is to you is to go into heaven. And yet the misconception of heaven is all are going. And that's not true. A misconception of heaven is I'm going because I'm a good person. I'm going because I'm going to the church. I'm going because look what I have done. That's a misconception. When the Bible records that Jesus said, I am the way the truth and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. There is no other option but Jesus Christ to be saved. The Bible says again, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Nowhere does the Bible say be baptized for salvation. Nowhere does the Bible say you can be saved. As a matter of fact, the Bible says there are none that do it good. No, not one. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the very fact is we are sinners before God. And the wages of sin is death, the Bible says. We're going to die because we are sinners. And to finish Romans 6, 23, the Bible said, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the Bible says, he that has a son has everlasting life. He that has not a son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Now, why is it I have quoted from two verses from the King James Bible? And it's recorded in the scriptures that people will say to Jesus, didn't I do this? Didn't I do good works? And Jesus will tell you, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Jesus will never know you by good works. Because the good works to get to heaven has been accomplished by Jesus Christ alone, who is God. And that religion is man-made, and Jesus Christ is God-approved. That simple. Some days I'll eat the bear. If it were to be something other than Jesus, why would we have the story of Jesus? Why would God leave his throne in heaven to come down this miserable, wretched, cursed world and be here for 33 and a half years in misery, in sorrow, in pain, and suffering? and dying on the cross according to the scripture. If you can get to heaven by your own doing, why would God allow himself, his dead body, to be buried? If you and I can get salvation outside of Jesus Christ. And then God raised Jesus the third day as the sign of the prophet Jonas, 
three days and three nights shall the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth. Jesus Christ went into hell and deposited our sin. And yet, mankind will think, I can do something to please God to get to heaven. When God himself had his own merit to get to heaven. God himself provided the way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. have you fooled that entrance to heaven is anything but Jesus Christ. And the very fact is without Jesus you will die and go to hell. A man goes into hell by trusting anything but Jesus. Without Jesus, you go into hell. You go to heaven by the one that said, I am the way, that's Jesus. The truth, that's Jesus. And the life, that's Jesus. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Them are the words of Jesus. And when Jesus said he is the way, your way is not acceptable. Jesus Christ is God approved to get to heaven. Whatever way you will have outside of Jesus Christ is not approved by God. The Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's plain and simple. That is English text. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> and thou shalt be saved. Again, the Bible says, He that has the Son, Jesus, has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God, that is hell. Without the sun, there is no light. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Nothing else can God give go to heaven. Nothing to prove but the son. Nothing to be believed on but Jesus to be saved. It's that plain and simple. You have got to believe, you have got to repent of your sins and trust in the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. There is nothing that washes away sin but Jesus Christ. There is nothing accepted by God but Jesus Christ to get to heaven. There are no Baptists in heaven, there are no Catholics in heaven, there are Christians that are washed by the blood of Jesus. Plain and simple. And God will accept anybody that comes to Jesus as a sinner that they are to repent of those sins. God is looking for sinners to come to him for a blessed hope. And the Bible says that that blessed hope is Jesus Christ. It's that simple. 
There is nothing else to get to heaven but by Jesus. It's the same message week after week every day. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Anything and everything else will get you to hell. <laughs> the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. Jesus is salvation. Jesus means Jehovah saved. Religion and good intentions will not get you to heaven. What you think will not get you to heaven. What you join won't get to heaven. What you do will not Don't get you to heaven. Unless you put your faith and trust and repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Your salvation rests upon your belief in Jesus Christ and repenting of your sins and all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We're all sinners. We all have the need of Jesus who never sinned. He became sin for us who knew no sin that we might have the righteousness in God through Him in Him. The Bible says there are, there is none righteous, no, not one, and yet we can get the righteousness of Jesus by repenting and believing upon the finished work of Jesus, the gospel, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. God has set forth one standard. Why are there so many churches? Because the devil has given many, many standards. You can pick and choose with the devil. You can have a God that likes to drink beer. He won't save you. You can have a God that, oh, money, 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 money. That God's not going to save you. But the God that suffered and died upon Calvary's cross, according to the scriptures, and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures, that is the God, that is the name, Jesus Christ above all names, whereby a man must be saved. Mary ain't going to take you anywhere but to hell. It is the name of Jesus that saves. It is the Son of God, who is God, that saves. Going to heaven, going to glory, rest upon you repenting and putting your faith and trust in the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And that Lamb is Jesus Christ. Born of a virgin, of the tribe of Judah. Jesus Christ is God approved to get to heaven. Anything else is not approved. The revolution will not be televised. Mercy and grace of the Father, God, come through the Son, Jesus Christ.
The Bible says, These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life, and that eternal life rests upon the Son. He that has the Son has everlasting life. And he that has not the Son shall not see light, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. You can believe upon Jesus and go to heaven, or you can reject Jesus and go to hell. It's your choice. God has given you an opportunity. Come to heaven by Jesus Christ, and only by Jesus Christ, or go to hell by anything but Jesus. Broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many go therein. But straight is the gate that leadeth to light, and few enter in. Religion is a broad way that gets you to destruction. Jesus Christ is the straight gate that gets you to light. Again, to quote John the Baptist, He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see light, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The dying thief believed it was never baptized. It's a hot day in Florida, and yet it's hotter in hell. And we can have a cool drink of water in here. But the rich man said, oh, if I can only have a drop of water for my lips, for my tongue. You can have satisfaction today and no satisfaction in hell. You can be blessed and full of grace and glory through Jesus Christ. Or you can be tormented in hell forever. Everybody have you up, guys. The deed of your life. The deed of your life right here at Yanis. God has set forth the standard. And that standard is the blood of Jesus Christ. Go ye in all the world and preach the gospel. And that gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died. According to the scripture. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scripture. No religion has ever done that. No religion is God. Everybody got me up, guys. No religion has left the heavenly throne to come and be man and suffer and die as man, to be buried as a man, and to be resurrected by the power of God. That's Jesus Christ. Only by Jesus Christ. Death is coming. And we do not know when it will be here. 
The wages of sin is death. You will die because you are a sinner regardless how you die. And after you die, the Bible says there is an afterlife. That afterlife is heaven and or hell, and there is no other place. And you get to heaven by faith and belief in Jesus alone. And you go to hell by everything else. When you die and end up in hell, you are saying, I did not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And when you get to glory, you will say, Hallelujah, praise the Lord Jesus Christ for saving my soul. When we get to glory, it's all about Jesus, not about evangelism, not about great men of the Bible, not about great men in church history. It's about the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. It's that simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Sanctify him to thy truth. Thy word is true. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. I'm going to pay you again. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I'm not preaching to you. I'm declaring the saving hope out of my mouth. I have got a living testimony that Jesus Christ has saved my soul. And I can't but help not to shut up about Jesus. My mouth is filled with the praise of Jesus and I do it publicly because I am not ashamed of Jesus. And I want you to know that Jesus can save your soul and you can have the same love, joy, and peace that nothing else can give you but Jesus. And only by Jesus. Don't think you're going to heaven because you think you're going to heaven. You go to a heaven, the heaven, by faith and belief in Jesus alone. It's called being born again. And Jesus said ye must be born again. Because your first birth brought you into being a sinner. And the second birth brings you into the family of God. Your second birth, by believing upon Jesus, will get your name in the last book of life. Ye must be born again. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. If you ignore Jesus, Jesus will say to you, depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. If you put your faith and trust in Jesus, he says he'll confess you before the angels and before the Father in heaven. If you're to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, the Bible says the angels rejoice at one sinner that repented. 
You giving money does not please the angel. You attending a church, angels don't care. But if you were to if you were to bow that proud knee and that uh, that uncircumcised heart and repent and get right and believe on Jesus, the angels rejoice. And your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And you will go to heaven. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. And it's not Mary, it's not Allah, it's not Buddha, it's Jesus. Jesus Christ. A name not to be cussed, but a name to be taken by faith. Praise the Lord. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And that life is in Jesus Christ. You can set forth to go to heaven today. You can change your direction to heaven by your belief today. You can do it today. To believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You have not sinned so much that God will not receive you. You're not too young to be saved. You're not too old to get your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. God doesn't care about your race. God cares that you are the sinner that Jesus Christ suffered and died for. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The glory of the Father is Jesus. The glory of heaven is not mankind. Man has sinned. Man has rebelled against God since the garden. God the Creator is offering eternal life to you through Jesus Christ. You're not okay without Jesus. All is not well. There is a hell and God will put you in it by rejecting Jesus. That loving God is a holy and righteous God. He says, be holy for I am holy and you cannot be holy without Jesus. For there are none righteous, no, not one. All have sinned and come short in the glory of God. Christ died for you, sinner. Christ will allow you into heaven by his work and your belief upon what he has done for us on Calvary's cross. Nine dollars coming to you. Nine dollars, okay. Nine dollars again. That's it. Thank you so much for coming. You're looking at the side of both sides of the Yeah. And that way 
For God so loved the world. How's that? That's the love of God. For God so loved the world that He gave. That's charity. God gave. You didn't give nothing. It's what God gave. Now, if you're going to rely on your charity, how can you outgive what God's given? For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. And you give into a charity, that's going to override God's Son? You mean your church membership is much better than Calvary's cross? When Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. There is no other way but the way. And the way is Jesus. Now you can be careful because the Bible says there's another Jesus out there. There's a religious Jesus. That's not the biblical Jesus. There's a Jesus out there that's not God. That's not the biblical Jesus. There's a Hollywood Jesus. That is not the biblical Jesus. Jesus is not black. He's Jewish. Born of a virgin. Of the tribe of Judah. Who is God. Who was born to die for our sins upon Calvary's cross according to the scriptures. And he was buried after he died. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You can be saved and know it. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. You want to glorify God. You glorify God through Jesus Christ, the Son. You want to go to heaven. You believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Do you want hope? Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. Heaven is attainable. Hell is quick and easy. Going to heaven is by what Jesus Christ has done. Going to hell is by what you do. And what do you do to go to hell? You reject Jesus Christ. Without Jesus, don't even think about going to heaven. You're not okay without Jesus. I just had a 
The glory of God is Jesus Christ. It ain't you. The entrance into heaven is Jesus Christ, not you. The satisfaction of God is His Son, Jesus. Right. The blessed hope of man is Jesus Christ. Yes, it's a beautiful day. It's Thank all. you, my darling. Well, thanks for the fact that... Uh, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt no, be saved. It's that simple. I've got air conditioning and I'm a happy fella. Anyway, my name is Jody Max. Welcome everybody out here. We got Mr. Yanni's produce over here. All right, all right. Over here, guys. One year dollar, one dollar. West side of the market. Here on the east side, we got Mac or Seafood. All the Adola guys, hungry. Got, got, got a little growly in the tummy. Well, I'll tell you what, right over here at Ellie's Kitchen here, Ellie's Meat Pies. Uh, they've got meat pie sausage rolls, uh, veggie cakes, cauliflower crust pizza, Tiger's Ice Cold Lemonade made in that fabulous. American entrepreneurial grade schooler front yard lemonade stand tradition. That's right.